so. We managed to find the cure. Or at least we think so. But first, let me introduce you to the team. First, there's Meg, she's our scout. Then, there's Wee Wee, he can get us anywhere. The next one is Benjamin, he's a money man. Mrs. Thompson, she has the guns. And then our deadly couple, Betty and Alfred. And then there's me, Shadow. I had to put this team together. Welcome back to a new episode here in Suavi. Yeah, I hope you like the intro for the Incompetent f 6, I mean. <laughs> so I just spent an unnecessary amount of time building this up for I don't even know why, but I just did it. So the reason for this tutorial is to show you how you can do that same sort of like freeze frame or action movie freeze frame effect for your own video. So if you want to do an intro for either your YouTube channel or even like a product or something, you can do that these ways. So let me just show you right away real quick. All you need to do is first, if you have a video, you're gonna have to go and see what frame you want to use as your freeze frame, right? Or frozen frame. And then you're gonna select there and then you're gonna cut your video pressing B and then pressing there a cut. And without moving your your indicator, I guess, um, you would just select that click, that second clip that's left, and you can press Shift R, or you can go up here to clip, and then freeze frame. Right now it's not showing because it's already a frozen frame, and then you got your image. After that, we're gonna go into Fusion, and here in Fusion, let me just take this high quality right now, since I'm recording at the same time. We're gonna create a copy, so Ctrl C and Ctrl V, it automatically creates a merge node. And on this second image, we're gonna use the polygon and we're gonna create a mask around our subject. Now I'm gonna speed this up also because you don't wanna see me create this whole mask um, for I don't know how long it takes, right? And I'm just gonna do it pretty raw right now because it doesn't have to be perfect. But if you want it to be perfect, you can spend more time on it. And then when you're ready, you just unify that. And that's what it's gonna do is basically, it's just gonna create a mask of only that figure of the subject that you have. Okay, so when we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this polygon again, and we're gonna add a background, and we're gonna put it there. We're gonna move this a little bit like this, and we're gonna connect these two right here. Whoops. After connecting these, we can select the polygon in the background and we're gonna check the solid out and we're gonna increase the border width a little bit and we're gonna change the color of our background. So if the polygon shape is uh, not completely right on the side of your subject, you can make these a little bit bigger, Whoop, not that much, uh, so that it covers all the space between. And since we are doing it pretty raw right now, like like just without paying attention to too many details we're gonna leave it like that so you adjust the border width so you can add that border thing then the next thing that you want to have is you're gonna press ctrl m or shift m and you're gonna add a transform node and we're gonna add a, animate this size so we're gonna go here at zero and then at, at let's say six we're gonna increase it to, to a little bit 1.05 i guess and then we're gonna go all the way towards the end and make it go a little bit smaller so it slowly decreases so it never actually stops moving so it adds a little bit to the it just adds a little bit of a cool effect that it's moving and you can also add a motion blur to it if you want you put an 80 or 130 it depends on what you want you can experiment with it then the next thing we do is you can have an image um, let me do let me use use this one you can go to Google and look up for ink splashes and simply just copy and paste them and download them there's a bunch of ones that you can use for free even on commercial projects and then on Google you get your image that you want and we're gonna animate this image too so we're gonna add the transform node to it we're gonna go to zero 
And we're gonna make this splash to go a little bit quicker than the other than our figure. So and we're gonna make it bigger too. So it's gonna be a little bit more like impactful, I guess. And make sure that at zero, this is at zero. Like that. Then one another thing you can do is you can also add another background effect uh, a node here and you can change the color let's say green like that and we can add another polygon and we're gonna create a shape around it like that and we're gonna increase the border width of it and what we can do with this is we can animate these with the length um option right here so we're gonna create a keyframe here at zero make it all the way to zero and then at frame five we're gonna go all the way to one so let's look at that like that and we can also oops not there and we can also when that is ready we can also go to frame five and we're gonna go to size here and then go all the way to the end and we're gonna increase this the size of it slightly so it slowly keeps moving forward like everything else is sort of like still moving around right then the next and last thing that we need to and you can add as many details as you want obviously and then the last thing that we need to do is we need to add the text you can choose to add the text in front of your subject or behind your subject but since we are working with all this stuff behind i think we're gonna add it behind our main subject and be and have our text up here or we're gonna make the text be really big and it's gonna be in front of all these splashes and all that stuff so we're gonna grab our text node and connect it here it's gonna create a new merge node and we're gonna write shadow because shadow that's that's that character i guess and we're gonna make it big like that, it's covering everything. You can select your favorite type of font. Let's see this one. Yeah, I like this one. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. I wanted the these letters, these characters, to be really tall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to. Uh, I think it's here. Yeah, to this third option, which is the transform option, and we're gonna increase the size right here, and then see how that looks. It might look a little bit crazy depending on the on the type of font that you're using, right? So that's when you want to check out to see what looks best. And then we can also change the color of this. Let's say, let's make it black. With that being black, it sort of like hides in the shadows, right? <laughs> Hide in the <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, so what we can do is we can go here to the paint mode here to the shading elements. And we're going to select element right here. To, and by selecting enable it basically creates another layer of text that you can basically choose the appearance here if you choose this it's gonna create a flat background behind this is gonna create some squares this is this one is actually just a copy of the text and yeah so what we want to do is we want the border right here and we can change the color of this border let's say yellow is fine and then we can change the thickness of it like that and then what we need to do also is we need to animate our text coming in right so the way that we're gonna animate it is we're just gonna do a simple side or slide animation so we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to this uh, layout section we're gonna create a keyframe right here and we're gonna create another keyframe at frame 8 gonna go back to the beginning and then move these all the way to the side and we're gonna go up here and create a motion blur for it. I like to put between 80 and 130. And one thing we can also do is go to the spline tool and press F and then press T. And you can play around with these things to make it come in real quick and then slow down or slow down when it's coming in and then uh, go real fast at the end. So we're gonna do it uh, this way, coming in quick and then slow down. like that and that is pretty much our whole animation done you can play around with all the colors and all that stuff that you want but that's all the basics of how you can create a freeze frame or an action freeze frame um, you can play it around with it however you want there's infinite 
amount of possibilities like you saw on the other in the intro each one is different so you can do a bunch of different things right and add as many elements as you want one thing you can also do don't forget is to you can press f on everything if you want but we're gonna take the text out and we're gonna smooth everything else out so we're gonna select everything else we're gonna press ctrl a and then we're gonna press f and that's basically gonna is in to everything that we have here and we don't have to animate out all of these frames because um, the way that it's if you want to you can animate them out and go back to sort of like continue the scene if you want um, I can make another video showing that type of effect but in this one since we have like straight up cuts it doesn't really matter or you can put a transition there uh, yeah so that is pretty much it for this video I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you find it cool and that you can use this effect if you have the need for it or that you just do it for fun if you wish to do so. So I hope to see you in the next video here in Swalby once again. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this content and comment down below what you thought about this cool trick. Anyways, I hope to see you in the next episode here in Swalby.